first day I gave my mom a hundred rats and bought an ice star AP. Many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine Thank you So I just got to the storage unit and today I went through all my personal shirts And you guys are going to want to see this Unfortunately, they're not going to be 10 to $15 because like I said, these are my personal shirts so they go for a little bit more. But don't worry, I'm not going to be eBay prices. They will definitely be under that. So getting into it, a lot of these are going to be my size, obviously since it's personal. So they're ranging from about a large to an XL. To start off, we have this vintage 1995 Pillsbury Doughboy. M&M shirt, hi, my name is. Obama, double-sided. Tie-dye Beatles, the Yellow Submarine. Down Under, Australia, like Tommy Hilfiger flag. Their Obama shirt. Striped Polo Ralph Lauren. A striped Tommy Hilfiger. Paul McCartney. A peach pocket box logo, Tommy Hilfiger. A bootleg Tommy Sports. 2001 Aaron C. Show. Double sided Obama. Guest Triangle. Vintage Cross Colors. Black History Month. Marlins 1997 World Series. Vintage Hugo Boss. Brand new with tags. Polo spell out. All cut and sewn. Vintage Mickey double sided. 1993 Marlins. Another striped Tommy. Vertical striped. Paw striped. Vintage Martin Luther King, double sided. This is like one of my favorite shirts. LRG with the camera. Pink Dolphin. Vintage ACDC from 96 World Tour, double sided. Wu Tang. 1999 Dale Earnhardt Jr., double sided. Odd Future. Brand new with tags, size XL, Polar Bear. Daylight Olympic shirt. Color blocking Tommy Hill figure. Polo. Blue on the back. Brazil jersey. Miami Heat. This actually glows in the dark. Puff jacket, all embroidered dragons. And then on the sleeve, we have Huff in big letters. This is really nice material. It almost reminds me of a Supreme hoodie. Also selling this True Religion jeans. It has like the paint, it has like the paint splatter throughout. Only flaw, which you can't really tell if a shirt covers it, but it's an easy fix. There's a little hole right here. I was gonna sew it, but I never got a chance to. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I will fix this before I sell it, unless you guys know how to sew and you can just do it yourself. Um, but I don't know. I'm gonna see. This is another pair of True Legends. There's no flaws with this one. They're both slim fit. All three brand new with tags. You got the full Ralph Lauren multicolored short size large. So fits about a 32 waist. Got some Fila like sweatshorts, size medium. And that's all we have. So that was all my personal collection. 
Everything will be down below in the link. Make sure you guys check it out for all the sizing and pricings. If you guys want a bundle, send me a DM or email and I'll be sure to maybe put a little package deal because I do want to sell everything. So everything will be fairly priced or at least what I think is fairly priced. So make sure you guys go check that out. How's it going, man? Drop his bag off for them and then... Fred's here, good. What kind of people in the home? Yeah, homeless people. So close. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Appreciate it, my dude. Back at the archives. If you guys didn't check out that video, you've got to check it out. They have so many things. Leaving archives with a pair of pants. We're gonna head to Souls real fast just to see what's on the shelf. It's not a consignment shop, but it's like a regular sneaker store. So let's see what they have. Yeah, definitely. Watch strangers, don't <laughs> them all. Yeah. Thank you, have a good day. Finally made it back home. There's so much traffic in Fort Lauderdale. It just honestly sucks. But I wanted to give you guys a closer look on what I copped. If you guys remember, I went to the archives when I copped the Pirate Blacks, which to be honest, they are so comfortable. I wore them for the first time the other day, and I absolutely love them. And for the people that are saying like, oh, I thought you were gonna sell them, I was gonna sell them, but I decided to sell pretty much all my other shoes. The only shoes I own right now are these, these, Birkenstock, Steve Madden that I picked up the other day, another Birkenstock, Birkenstock. That's the only shoes I own in my personal collection. Everything else I'm selling or is for sale or sold so that's the reason why i decided to keep these i figured you know it's going to be my only black shoe and instead of having 12 pairs of shoes that are worth 150 dollars each which would be what 12 like 1200 1500 dollars i'd rather have one really nice shoe or what i think is really nice and like i said i wore them the other day for the first time ever they are honestly so comfortable i didn't think that boost was going to be that comfortable i know everyone says like oh yeah they're they're yeezys they're so comfortable but you're like nah they're just hype but to be honest, they are really comfortable and I really like the V1s a lot better than the V2s. Now I haven't worn the V2s in a, like for an entire day so I don't know if they're that comfortable. But just from trying it on, me personally, I like the V1s. Some people do say the V2s are a little bit more comfortable but they just look wider to me and I don't know, I like the V1s a lot better. So getting into what I copped today was the Gucci track shorts or track pants I should say. I don't know why I said shorts. They did have these in shorts, which I was planning to pick up just because it's Florida and I always wear shorts, so I figured let me not get the pants, especially because I got the green and red pants the other day and I ordered a red pair that should be coming in the mail probably two or three days from now, which you guys will see. So I figured, oh, I don't want to get another pair of track pants, but I couldn't pass these up. The khaki with the red and navy, these things are so fire. They sold up on their website, so I'm really happy I got them too. And this was their last pair. They had two more jackets. I was gonna get the jacket to match, but I was thinking like, I didn't get the matching jacket with the green one, and I didn't get the matching jacket with the red one. So I was like, why should I, like if I'm not completing these track suits, is there no point of actually buying the jacket? So I figured I'd just get the pants. I might cop another pair if I can find it and maybe cut them into shorts, or I might cop the shorts if I can find them. Uh, like I said, they did sell out. I checked eBay, they're not for sale in there. So if not, I'll just keep the pants, you know. I got chicken legs anyway, so pants definitely work in my favor. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. If you guys are local, if you watch Just Win, if you don't know who Just Win is, Just Win is a sneaker YouTuber. Who posts almost daily videos of just sneaker content, as well as fashion stuff, you know, off-white, supreme, hype, stuff like that. But he's definitely more sneaker oriented. Unlike me, I'm more clothing oriented. But he is doing a pop-up at Six Souls, which 
Shout out to Six Souls. I'm actually wearing their shirt. If you guys know, that's Richie's shop. I've been there multiple times. I've done multiple tours. So he's going to be there from 4 to 7. So if anyone's local that didn't know about that and wants to come say what's up to me, I will be at Six Souls all day tomorrow off Commercial Boulevard. If you don't know where it is, look it up on Instagram at Six Souls FTL. Like I said, I will be there all day tomorrow. So even if you don't come for just winning, you just come for me. So get a picture, say what's up, or even just talk to me. You know, I'd love to talk to a bunch of you guys. Whether it's talking about life, talking about my bus adventure, or whatever you're going through. Like, just come through. It should be good vibes. There's probably going to be a good line, but don't worry. I'm going to be outside talking to a lot of people while they're waiting in line. So it should be a good vlog, and I'm excited for tomorrow. But before I leave, I do want to show you one more thing that I didn't show. I caught this Gucci jacket. And before even like people say like, yo, this kid is copping all this designer. I think this is fake or I'm hoping it's fake for the price I paid for it. I paid $40 shipped. I got off a of Depop if you guys know about it. It's the G monogram. Let me see if this will focus. So it has the G's all over and has Gucci on there. The cuff, it has the green and red. And then at the bottom, it has green and red. And then again, the print all over with the hood. This thing is so fire. I am so hyped to rock it with this. And these pants, oh my gosh, that is so insane. Just, ooh, Gucci down, Gucci down, Gucci everything. But unfortunately, that's all I have for today's vlog. I know it's not too lit, but like I said, Without a car, it's kind of difficult, me Ubering every place and kind of walking to different places. But tomorrow's vlog should be really entertaining for Just Wins pop-up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. Make sure you guys check the link down below for all the pricing and sizing for everything you saw today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and don't forget, guys, let's get it!